Okay, we're on Facebook Live today. Why are we here? We're here to celebrate the birthday of Mohammed Aladi, who has been imprisoned by Israel uh, for six years now because he refused to uh, agree to a plea bargain because he's an innocent man. And uh, we all feel very proud to be here to support him for that. How's he going to get a fair trial? Well, he's well, not going to get a fair trial. That's why we need to put the pressure on the, the Ministry of Justice in, in Israel and also our foreign minister. We need to put pressure on Israel to support the right thing. And to that end, we have got a QR code that people can actually click on and all directly send those letters to those two people and that would make a huge difference because they've had thousands of letters so far. So this is Muhammad Al Halabi. Can you tell us a little bit about him as a person? Well, uh, as you can see, he worked for 12 years, and he was there for a number of years. And he was accused by the Israelis of funneling money to Hamas, which is proved to be incorrect. We've had several trials on it. The uh, World Vision has said that he hasn't done it. The Department of Foreign Affairs in Australia has said he hasn't done it, but. And what's this map behind us showing us? Now behind us, actually, maybe. This is a good one, yeah. We have a very simple map that shows Palestine in 1946. Yeah. Before it became partitioned by the UN, and in 1947, you can see how that's been divided up. Yep. And then you come to 1967 with the Six Day uh, War, where more set territory is seized. And now you can see that it's been really broken up. It's pretty much like the Bank of Sands in South Africa. That's all you can describe it as. So Muhammad comes from Gaza? Yes. Is that right? And what, and what, and what, is, his, what is his work? What does he do? Well, he's in prison, prison now, but he was a manager for World Vision, uh, an NGO that's run by Tim Costello from Melbourne. And that's, that's to help children, isn't it? Absolutely, it's to help children. So why have they accused him of embezzling the money? Because basically what they're trying to do is, in, in my opinion, this is my opinion, imprison anybody that shows any kind of leadership potential. So they're getting them in jail to get them out of the way. That's there are a lot of political prisoners in, yes. in Palestine yes. and he's one of them, but he's pretty high profile it sounds. Exactly right. Yeah. Exactly so right. we hear about him, yeah. And we're actually here to speak up for all the political prisoners in Israeli captivity. Um, some of them have not had the chance to defend themselves against charges in a court of law. They are held without charge of trial. Um, Mohammed Al Halabi um, is an Australian who the DFAT has found that um, there actually is no money missing. So if there's no money missing, how can one misappropriate funds? But we're here to speak up for all the political prisoners. Now when you say we are here, who are we? Um, I'm from APAN. A APAN, yeah, what's that now? Um, the Australian Palestine Advocacy Network. Yep. And well, this, this, this actual um, action is a collaboration between Amnesty International and APAN and what they did is they approached local communities to find out which Palestinian groups are there and they asked Just Peace to host it but it's actually an event uh, organised by Amnesty and, and APAN. Now I'm noticing we've got a few people watching now, what can they do to help? Well, the best thing you can do is to, is talk to your neighbours. Yep. Educate yourself on the. Yep, which you talked Palestine. about the map of disappearing Palestine. Yeah. This brochure is available. Anyone who'd like it, I could definitely get it. Yep. Them. If you vote, you can get the sticker and let yep. your neighbours know. Put it on your bin. Put it on somewhere visible to let people know that this is an issue that concerns you. So we're giving a message to the Australian government. It's their money. They've got to do something about absolutely, this guy. Absolutely, absolutely. This is an Australian charity. They need to do justice for their charity. Okay. Is there anything you want to add? Well, anything? The thing I want to add 
is I would like everybody to click on that QR code. Yep. And click on that code at home. Yep, there it is there. And, uh, and get in touch with those two fine people. Uh, Justice Department in, in Israel and our Department of Foreign Affairs to make sure we put pressure on them to stop this. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good on you. Okay, we're signing off here from the vigil is about to begin. You can watch it at home or on Facebook Live, or you can just come down here if you want to. See you, people.